Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. I've never been one to believe in ghosts or paranormal activities until a recent unsettling experience changed my perspective. It was 1610 and I was in the kitchen frying up some fries when I heard someone calling my brother's name from the upstairs bathroom. We use aliases here for privacy. I'm Ellie and my brother is Eli, names that rhyme with our real ones. Initially, I dismissed the unfamiliar voice and focused on my cooking. However, my attention shifted when my aunt, who was on her phone in the living room, called out to me, claiming she heard my brother calling for me, and confused and somewhat frightened, I approached her to discuss what I had just heard and to see if she had noticed the same. Contrary to what I heard, she insisted it was my brother calling my name, not the other way around. We live in a two-story house. I reside on the first floor while my brothers occupy the second. At that time, only one of my brothers was home. Following this strange incident, my aunt texted Eli to check if he had been calling for me, but he confirmed he hadn't. He even searched the house to ensure we were alone, but found nothing amiss. Having lived in this house for many years, I've never encountered anything remotely paranormal, even when home alone. And yes, this is a true story. I'm writing this just an hour after the incident. This experience has left me overwhelmed with thoughts and more terrified than I've ever been. Despite it being 4 p.m., with sunlight still streaming through the windows and three of us at home, I can't help but feel haunted by the notion of a ghostly presence. Could it be that a ghost aimed to frighten us, choosing a moment when we were together rather than alone in darkness? This incident has certainly made me reconsider the possibility of paranormal activities. Thank you for reading. I'm eager to hear what others think about this peculiar experience. My two best friends and I have been experiencing visions and dreams for the past two years. It all began in December 2021, as we were preparing for a concert. Suddenly, an image flashed in our minds, a toddler and his sister running into a burning forest. Since that moment, we've consistently had visions and dreams, many of which are disturbing and seemingly unrelated to reality. However, some connections to real life have emerged. For instance, a few months ago, my friend Ellie dreamt that she was climbing a tree with me. Suddenly, I transformed into a black figure, startling her and causing her to fall from the tree. She woke up to find her parents in her room, alarmed by a loud bang. Interestingly, she was sitting upright, cross-legged, when she opened her eyes. Another incident involved Ellie receiving visions of a woman named Miranda Bristol. We searched online and found that she looked exactly as Ellie had seen in her visions, we learned that Miranda was a very paranoid person who died at the age of 25. More recently, my friend Riley and I, Levi, used a Ouija board and contacted a man named Adam who mentioned his wife, Miranda. We didn't get her last name, but her description matched that of Miranda Bristol. Adam recounted that Miranda had seen their house on fire while she was in the garden. She ran inside to save Adam, but tragically, neither survived. The house he described resembled the one next to mine. Riley, who believes she has psychic medium abilities, also had a profound experience while playing the game Red Door, Yellow Door. She claims to see things that appear more realistic than mere figments of imagination, as the game suggests. These ongoing experiences are honestly starting to frighten us. What should we do? What's one place you can go to find the weirdest, freakiest creatures in our society. I swear, I've never been to a single Walmart where I didn't see at least one eye-catchingly strange human being. Strange doesn't even begin to describe what I'm about to tell you. It was the Thursday before Black Friday. My local Walmart was open extra late. Around 11 o'clock, I was there looking for a new laptop, and by chance, I picked up the last one on the shelf that was being promoted for a really good Black Friday deal. As I grabbed it, though, a big, revolting, dirty-looking guy approached me and insisted he desperately needed a laptop. I nervously said, I'm sorry, it's the last one. But he got angry and started making quite a scene. The man clearly wasn't normal, and my heart started racing simply because I'm not often put on guard in these kinds of situations. As others looked on at the commotion this big guy was creating, I quickly walked away with the laptop and headed straight to a checkout line. 
He kept yelling at me as I walked away. It was unbelievable. Some other customers in line even tried to laugh with me and make me feel better, saying the guy was a nut. So I get home, and my family is already asleep. I go outside to sit in the yard by the pool and set up my new laptop. Then the light on the side of the house, the one that turns on due to movement, turned on. I went to check the side of the house to make sure no one was there. Would that thing go off once in a while? Yeah, but there's a small patch of woods right next to the house, so animals often run on the property, triggering it. Either way, I'm kind of a big wimp, so I went inside, locked the door, and finished setting up my laptop in the living room. Suddenly, a car alarm started going off outside. It was my Cadillac. I looked out the window to confirm this. I ran to get my keys upstairs, then tried pressing the panic button to turn off the alarm. It didn't work from the inside, so I stepped out onto the porch and clicked it off. But then I noticed a car parked in front of our house that wasn't there earlier when I got home, and any cars parked on the street in our block were suspicious enough. We live in a closed off community, and everyone has large driveways. Stand I stepped down from the stoop and realized there was someone sitting in that car. I went back inside and locked the door. I went to my mom's room and told her, I think someone outside means us harm. My mom and dad have a complicated situation, so my dad doesn't always stay with us. It would have been a different story having my dad there to tell about this. My mom came downstairs with me, noticeably worried based on what I had told her. She took a look through the peephole in the front door, then gasped and put her hands over her mouth. I looked through it as well and felt ready to throw up when I saw a huge man standing on the other side of the door on our stoop. I whispered to my mom, I think that man followed me from Walmart. Suddenly, the doorknob started to turn as the man tried to open the door. When it didn't work, he started pounding on the door. That's when my mom let out a gasp and cry, and my younger sister came out from her room, also starting to panic when becoming aware of the situation. The pounding stopped. Then there was silence for a while, other than my mom's voice on the phone with the police. A few minutes went by, my mom still on the line with 911 with police en route, and there was a loud bang and crash downstairs in the den. A window was shattered. My mom and sister both screamed and cried. I told them to run upstairs while I locked the door to the den. I waited down there expecting an attempt at the door or a bang. Surprisingly, nothing happened. I heard a police car briefly wail its siren outside my house. It was the quickest response time I'd ever heard of. I ran outside to lead them to the den where the broken glass was. There, they found the huge, dirty, crazy-looking man hiding behind one of our couches. He was arrested at once, and we pressed charges. All the while, he was screaming profanities and threats at me. Not helping his case, both cops told me the guy seemed unstable and on some kind of drugs, but told us to get a good night's rest because he wouldn't be bothering us again. So, while it may be fun to people watch at Walmart and laugh at some of the goofy things you see, Realize you may also encounter some of the more dangerous people in our society at your local Walmart. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video.